and get it up. I held that whole stack with one hand. I might not have that much upper body strength, but I can still hold, carry a bunch of books. Hi, my name is Julianne, and today I'm going to be doing my Booktubeathon 2018 TBR. To begin with, let me explain what Booktubeathon is for the people who don't know. Every year, Booktube there's this thing called Booktubeathon, which is a reading marathon. You're trying to read pretty much as many books as you can in one week. I will put the dates here of what, what it is this year because I kind of forgot. I'm going to be going through the different challenges and which book I'm matching with which challenge. I will also link down below the two videos that are up right now. That's just kind of like talking about Booktubeathon for this year and then the other one talking specifically about the reading challenges. All that information will be explained like in, in uh, Ariel Bissett's videos. She's the one who runs it. So she's, she explains everything. The first challenge is let a coin toss decide your first pick. With this challenge, I picked two books and one of them I'm going to read during Booktubeathon, the other one I'm not. I'm just letting a coin toss decide which of the two. And I'm going to do that once Booktubeathon starts. I actually put sticky notes on the books so I actually remember which one goes with which. It's the first time I did that and I actually like that idea a lot so I might, so I'll probably be doing that next year as well. This is the Brooklyn House Magician's Manual. I don't know how you technically classify this as, like I think it's like a companion novel, I guess. I love buying anything by Rick Riordan that involves the EPJO universe. And then Rick Riordan has his imprints. This is the first book in that imprint and it sounds really awesome. It involves mythology. I love mythology and to hear thing, different types of mythology that isn't just Greek or Roman or Norse or Egyptian intrigues me. The next book I will show you is a combination of two challenges. It's the second and sixth challenge. So the second challenge is read a book about something you want to do. The sixth challenge is read a book with a beautiful spine. I'm really disappointed that I've already read Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue because that or like that spine was really beautiful. So I was like, oh damn it, that was such a good spine. It would have been perfect for this challenge. But this spine I think is probably the prettiest of the ones that I want to read. So I'm going with this one. And also in this book, there's people who can kind of do magic and they have demons as pets, basically. It's like Pokemon meets Harry Potter. It's amazing, honestly. And if you don't know what book I'm talking about yet, well, let me tell you. It's Origin. I mean the outcast. Origin is the short story that I still have not read because I'm disappointed in myself. I uh, put out a video for each of these books and the author, Taryn Matharu, who's amazing, commented on my videos and it was like one of the best moments of my life. It was so cool. So I was like when the Outcast comes out I need to buy it the same day it comes out and you know read it and put out a video. I haven't read it yet. Sorry Taryn Matharu. I am gonna get on it. Okay I'm gonna put out a video. Out of any book I'm gonna be reading for Booktubeathon there is definitely gonna be a video about this. I love Taryn Matharu. He's amazing. I love his books. He brings such a unique twist to fantasy. Anyway, so this is the prequel. It's about a specific uh, teacher in, in the school that the main character, uh, Fletcher, goes to in the main series. I'm going to show you this book naked. This is the spine. It's nice and simple and I kind of like that simplicity. And I also really like the sword in, in the title, so I like swords, so I think that's really cool. The next thing that I have to talk about is the third challenge and that is read and watch a book to movie adaptation. It, it took me a while like I was like, trying to figure out what book you know that I need to read like what book could I do I own that I could potentially read that's a book to movie adaptation and I'm like looking through all of my books what book could potentially be a book to movie adaptation. I just I cannot figure out what book it could be that I own that everyone's raving about and you know, has a cute romance apparently, and that I got spoiled on who Blue is. Like, which book do I own? It took me so long to figure to like click in my brain that I should read this book. But here we go. I'm gonna be reading Simon versus the Homo Sapien Agenda, and I was not lying when I said that I got spoiled on who Blue is. So that's fun. Normally, I don't like romance stories because they're contemporary and romance, and I like when things are actually happening in stories. So I think the idea that there's a mystery behind who is blue, that would intrigue me, even though I already know who it is. But that seems like, okay, there's an actual like, plot line. But I am excited for Simon vs. the Homo Sapien Agenda. The fourth challenge is read a book with green on the cover. And that book is 
The Call. This book, it sounds like it's like a horror thriller. I kind of forgot the plot line exactly, but it just seems like it'd be really, it, well, it looks pretty short and I feel like because it's more of a thriller, it will like help me get through it really quickly. Like I just, I can just feel like this book, uh, I like zip right through it. The next thing, read a book while wearing the same hat the whole time. Thanks, Ariel. I appreciate it. At least it's not the challenge of reading a book outside, which I obviously failed. I don't own a hat, so I made one. Ta-da! So I figured because I will be wearing a ridiculous hat that's probably going to fall off my face like that, I was like, okay, what book should I read that is stupid and ridiculous as the stupid ass hat and challenge? Well, let me tell you, it's a book that's also going to have a movie that adaption, but I don't believe that adaption comes out during the week of Booktivathon, so I can't watch the movie. Well, I still want to read this book before the movie comes out. I decided to pick a book that sounds stupid and ridiculous, but I know I'm going to love because sharks are amazing. And obviously I picked The Meg, which I literally bought yesterday. I'm so hyped for the movie. I'm so hyped to read this book. When I read the summary of this book, I was like, this sounds like a stupid sci-fi shark movie. And like found out it was going to be turned into a movie and I was like, told you, this is it. This is just the epitome of stuff I love. <laughs> I love sharks. I love sci-fi shark movies, even though they definitely villainize sharks when we, you shouldn't villainize sharks for reasons that I can get into, but this is not the video to do that in. But I do love sharks. They're amazing. So, so hyped to read a book about a megalodon just attacking people. I do know how much fun that is. Um, so the next challenge is, well, I already told you the first six. So the seventh challenge is read seven books. If you're doing a quick count, I've only told you about five. So I have two more to go, and these two are the ones that are going to fulfill that seventh challenge. The first one is The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. Chambers. Why did I say Chambers? But the... I know how to pronounce things, I swear. I had just listened to The Strange Case of of Starship Iris, so like I was in the mood for sci-fi stories that involve space, like I just really need to read space stuff. And so I bought that when I was in the mood, never, never read it, and so I will read it now. Final book is, well, if you've been here long enough, you will know that every book to a thon, I read a Chris Wooding book, and the Chris Wooding book that I've decided to read this year is The Haunting of Eliza Bell Cray. That's it. That, that's the whole thing. So, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. So, thank you for watching my video. Okay, I'm so done with that hat. I, I'm so done. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my... Ugh. See you. <laughs> no, I'll see you in my next video. Um, these books are... Whatever. I did not have the grace as I did in the beginning of the video. Oh my god. I need to stop. I'm turning into Christine from Full and Bananas. Yeah, thanks for watching. This was a mess of an ending. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. If anyone has a hat, please send it to me because this is not working. Bye.